guys, it is Alisa here or The Diamond Stitcher as I go by on YouTube and Instagram. Hello, good morning or good afternoon, whatever time of day it is for you. I hope it's a wonderful one. If you are new to my channel, first off, welcome. I'm happy you found me and I hope you would consider subscribing and stick around for all things diamond painting. And if you are returning, thank you so much for your continued support. I have another Diamond Art Club sneak peek to share with you guys today, and I'm super excited to share this one. First things first, if you are new to Diamond Art Club, welcome. I do have a discount code that you can use on your first purchase, and that's my name, A-L-Y-S-A-1-5, and that will get you 15% off your very first purchase. If you find a better discount code out there, by all means use it, but you can still show me support by clicking on the link in my description box and shopping through Diamond Art Club that way uh, and using whatever discount code you have. Either way, I am very grateful and I want to extend a huge thank you to Diamond Art Club for sending me this kit to share with everybody. I'm actually really excited to get into this image. It's typically not artwork that I have a lot of, so the pieces that I have uh, of the genre, I am... Um, I really, I really hold dear, and this one I think my in-laws are absolutely gonna love. Uh, whether they wanna hang up a sparkly diamond painting is, is the question, but I think I might do this one for them. Anyways, without further ado, we can tell based on the box here, we have a square diamond painting. The square boxes also have blue up here, whereas the rounds you're gonna see pink. And let's share this image. Now this is a big one and a heavy one. I am going to zoom in because it is just too hard for me to hold. And we're not gonna be able to see it probably that well uh, until we open it up, just because it is quite a dark colored painting. It is called Deer Creek Cabin by Dona Gelsinger. It is square and it's going to measure 25.6 inch by 34.3 inches or 65 centimeters by 87 centimeters. So this is a big one in uh, my books. <laughs> On these boxes, they always come pristine. I've never had a box come dinged up, which is always nice to see. On the back, we do have some explanation on how diamond painting works and what to expect inside this box itself and the usual disclaimers. Now, if you didn't know, there is a discount code also on the end of your box that you can use. I believe it's a one-time use code. You just use your camera phone, hover over this QR code, a link should pop up that you can click on and it will get you 10% off. There are discount codes absolutely everywhere. Sometimes Diamond Art Club has a special discount code on their website, so be sure to check there. Sometimes it is a little bit more than the standard discount codes. If you are a VIP group member, there is a discount code for you as well. And I'm gonna show you a few others in this unboxing alone. Now in your diamond painting box, you will get a few things. You get your diamond painting that we will open in a minute and we get our toolkit and our small sticker. So here is the small sticker. Again, it's going to look a little dark on this uh, image, but there is a bigger picture I will show you once we open up the kit. This has all the information you may need on it. What I do with these is I actually will peel this off after the unboxing and I stick it on the top of my box. That way when I store my diamond paintings on my shelf, I can easily see what is what. Some people do use this in their paper logbook instead. Really, it's up to you. Let's take a look at these tool kits. Now, let's look at what's inside here. It looks like we have a blue themed kit. The color and the theme of your tool kit may differ from mine, even in this diamond painting alone, but usually the pen and the little comfort grip are matching. It does have a single placer on the end there where you can place single diamonds, and then they do send over a four and a seven plastic multi-placer if you do want to try your hand at multi-placing. If you need some tips and tricks on multi-placing, I do have a video I will link in the description box down below, but you can put one of these tips in the other end of the pen and off you go. We always get our heart-shaped wax. There are two wax pads. This is more than enough to do this diamond painting and probably another one. Uh, it lasts a long time as long as you keep it in an airtight container, which this heart caddy is. You can also keep it in, in a little Ziploc bag. There is a plastic cover on this. Don't forget to peel that off before you load your diamond painting pen, otherwise it won't work on you. We have cover minders. We are still seeing these guys in toolkits now. Sometime this year, I imagine, is when Diamond Art Club is phasing these out. So if you want to collect them, I would start now. I have, and I have a fridge uh, full of them <laughs> all going down the side of my fridge. But uh, cover minders do come in handy. They do have magnets on the back. One should be glued on. If it's not, all you need to do is use a bit of super glue to glue it back on. The other magnet is free, and it goes under the 
diamond painting and this pretty piece goes on top. It's usually used to help hold back the plastic cover, though I actually use them to secure release papers if I'm not quite done a session, but I need to put it away. These come in handy for me. We get our usual tray here and it does have a little plastic piece called a stopper. Fits in the end of the tray so when you shake your diamonds they don't go flying out. It doesn't matter which way this goes as long as you're not forcing it too hard otherwise that plastic can break. But this is a great small size diamond painting tray. Everything you need to diamond paint is in here so you don't have to worry about getting all the fancy accessories if you are brand new to diamond painting. I recommend just using Diamond Art Club's toolkit until you get used to things and know what kind of things you like. We get tweezers with our square diamond painting kit, so they don't come with rounds. So if you do get a diamond painting kit and you're like, where are my tweezers? It's probably because you have round diamond painting. These are very sharp, so make sure you do keep this plastic cover on when not in use. Some people do use these to place square diamonds. I don't. What I use them for is to either clear out my pen tips of old wax or putty or to pop off diamonds if I've accidentally misplaced them. We also get a bag of baggies, probably not enough to kit up this kit, but if you do collect some of them, then you can kit up into them. I actually use these to store any leftover diamonds that I may have. Let me just pop this all back nicely and put it off to the side. And let's take a look at this diamond painting. Diamond Art Club's diamond paintings do come in this resealable plastic cover as long as you don't rip it. Uh, it's usually resealable or I just put a piece of scotch tape. I do like putting my diamond paintings back in this bag and then in the box when I'm not working on them. Just helps keep them nice and clean and free from dust, pet hair or dander. Diamond Art Club's canvases are a super high quality canvas. They come very pristine. Now this one is going to be a big one so I'm probably not gonna be able to share the whole thing in frame but what we will do is we will kind of pan over it and what I'm going to do first is I'm going to roll this backwards on itself. Diamond Art Club's canvases do have a special magical ingredient that makes them self-flattening so if I was just to lay this diamond painting flat on the floor or on the table it would self-flatten itself but to help it along all you have to do is roll it backwards on itself it just helps it flatten a little bit quicker and it doesn't damage your canvas at all these canvases have poured glue, which is very forgiving and can be um, bent, you know, rolled back or forward. So no worries there. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start at the top and yeah, I can't even get this in frame. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna make my camera go a little bit higher. Hold on. Okay, we are a little bit higher here, so hopefully we can see more of the painting in frame, but still our sides are off, but uh, let's start from the beginning. So up at the top here we have Diamond Art Club's catchphrase, Duo Makes You Sparkle, Diamond Art Club. The edges are poked and scalloped. That helps prevent any kind of fraying of your canvas. We have a legend on the top left. We also have another legend on the bottom right. On the bottom left of the canvas, we have a thumbnail of the image here and then the pasting area. Sorry for the glare, we are filming right beside my uh, patio tour. Here is that thumbnail. Here is the model number of the canvas if you've ever wondered what those numbers are. The name of it is here, Deer Creek Cabin, and our sizing. Remember that these sizes refer to the drill field only, so where the glue and the diamonds are. It doesn't include this border at all. So if you are ever to frame your painting, make sure you get a measuring tape and you're actually measuring what you want to include, whether you want some of this border uh, or not. And copyright Dona Gelsinger and Diamond Art Club. That means this diamond painting is legally licensed, which is very important in the diamond painting community. That means the artist not only gave her permission to use this artwork as a diamond painting, but she's also being fairly compensated or paid. In the bottom middle of our canvas, we have a reminder that if you are on social media, if you use hashtag Diamond Art Club in your description, they may feature you on their social media, so that's kind of fun. Here is another discount code. And then the business pages of Diamond Art Club. This is different than the VIP Facebook group, which I will show you in a minute, but here is where Diamond Art Club gives us the sneak peeks at the images throughout the week. So if you don't follow them there, please do. And let me just move this over a little bit more. Up here we have a reminder. As long as we are the original purchaser, we do have a lifetime warranty. Full details on that are on the website, but it may include things such as issues with the diamonds or the glue or the canvas. 
And there is the support email. It's located on every canvas in the bottom right hand corner. If you have any customer service questions, send them to support so they can get you taken care of. And in my experience, they can uh, respond in as fast as like three seconds. But let's take a look at this image. We haven't actually looked at the artwork itself. Now, this painting, as I said, is really dark. It might actually be easier if I show you this uh, artwork first. So let's see if that you can see the detail in that. So it is in like uh, the, what am I trying to say? It looks like it's a nighttime shot. You can kind of see in the top uh, left there, the sky is a little bit darker and just the way it looks like it's in the middle of a bunch of trees. So it's already dark to begin with, but I think it's probably supposed to be like an evening shot. They've got the fireplace going too. So it does have a lot of darker colors, but uh, it is beautiful. We've got a cabin in the back with that wood fireplace. We also have some uh, glow of light from the window. We've got two beautiful deer off to the left there and a beautiful uh, creek. And yeah, in the top, you can see a bit of a, a sunset is what I imagine. Lots of trees and greenery in this one. So I will do my best to show, let me just see, am I zoomed out? There we go. So here is the top, we've got beautiful trees. It does look a lot uh, brighter in uh, when you look at it on the canvas here, probably because it's big so we can actually see Gorgeous. I'm seeing lots of areas of color blocking in here. So if you are a fan of color blocking, or I should say multi-placing in general, because I am seeing a lot of line blocking, like I'm not seeing a lot of single placing up here. I'm seeing places where you could probably use a four to a 12 placer, which I think would make it move pretty quickly, which is nice. Coming down to the cabin, we got that glow in the window there. I wonder if we have, yeah, we do have some special diamonds. It looks like they've put some ABs in there to make it glow and some fairy dust. So we'll get to that when we actually open the diamonds and I show you what, what all that is if you are new, not to worry. Now, uh, the other thing is this canvas does have that new perforated cover, which you guys, I um, actually just started a new Diamond Art Club painting that has this perforated cover and I love it. I do love it. I can't wait. They are working on an upgrade already where they are going to make it so we can see the lines. That I think is going to be great improvement, but otherwise I'm really liking working with it. Here are the beautiful deer, gorgeous, a male and a female. And then we get down in here, you got the reflection in the water, which I think Diamond Art Club does a really good job at conveying. We also have a canoe up here and then the fire, which uh, campfire, which looks so nostalgic. I love the greenery off to the side here. These bushes look so realistic, the way that it looks like they've been charted. And we're just taking a look at the kind of base of the painting here. Just a lot more greenery, a lot of rocks. We've got the creek coming off down here and again, framed with some branches. This is a beautiful piece of artwork. Now let's finish taking a look at that sticker sheet. This is actually the artwork that I usually put in my logbook. It does provide a greater look at all of the detail in a painting. And I actually usually cut this whole thing out and it will fit and I just put it in my logbook. For this diamond painting here, we do have a total of, what does that say, 56 colors, lots of neutral tones, you can tell. With Diamond Art Club at the top here, any number under 150 is going to be an AB diamond. So we have three 100, 106, and 129, which looks like three different shades of green, I think. Let me go to the bottom of the list down here. Any number that has a letter in front of it is going to be another special diamond, uh, Z. We have three of them. These are gonna be three different fairy dust colors. It looks like they have a gold or a yellow, a green and a white. And then just note up above number 53 is 6021. Diamond Art Club has recently decided that they don't have enough colors in the cross stitch charting. So they have created their own colors. So anytime you see a 6,000 DMC number, this is a color exclusive to Diamond Art Club. You can find it anywhere and there is no you know alternative name right now it's just 6021 diamond art club is what i would call it and it looks like it's a blue we are seeing lots of shades of pink purple blues and grays i think i had a kit with a brown one as well so it just allows them to provide more shading in their paintings and make them look even better these stickers, I should mention, are individually cut and peelable. All you have to do is peel and stick to your containers or your baggies, however you like to kit up. I forgot to go over the brochure. So if you are new, there is a thank you brochure in every package. We have a note from the founder of Diamond Art Club. 
list of what to expect in the kit in three different languages. In here, we do have a QR code that will take you to Diamond Art Club's instructional video. I also have a beginner video. If you are interested, it will be linked down below. Here we have a QR code that will take you to the VIP Facebook group. You do need to have made your first purchase before they will let you join that group. But once you do head over there, make sure you answer the membership questions. A quick note on that, if your DAC account name is different than your Facebook name, you may need to connect with support as they may decline your request. Over here, we have step-by-step -step instructions, again, in three different languages if you are new, and tips and tricks are here. Another discount code down there, and reminder, if you haven't yet bought in through the app, your very first purchase, you should get 20% off. Diamonds, so Diamond Art Club's diamonds come in this resealable baggie. They are always labeled, so if you do separate your canvas from your diamonds, you'll be able to match them up quite easily. I'm gonna fast forward through the massive crinkle and uh, let's take a look at the diamonds. Diamond Art Club's diamonds, they are not in numerical order. You'll actually find that they are by weight, so we'll have some strands of very hefty diamonds and then a strands of much smaller amounts of diamonds. So what I'm gonna do is just pull them across the screen. You can take a look at the color, how many bags, and the DMC number if you wish. We'll start with 434. 3790, there are two bags of that. 938, we have one, two, two bags. 310, we have one, just one bag, that's good. Then we have 934, two bags of that one. Lots of dark colors in this kit. 935 and, or sorry, 435 and 935. There are three, four, five bags of that. So five bags of 935. One, two, three, four bags of 898 and two bags of 844. I love all the greens in this painting though, all the different shades. It's gonna be really pretty. So we have two bags of 936. One, two, three, four bags of 801. These diamonds actually are looking really good. I'm just noticing they look perfect. I'm not seeing any tabs or trashy bits and they just look so sparkly. I love it. We have our first AB here, which is 100. This is a green AB. I will show you where they've charted it uh, once we're done here, but I have a feeling it's just gonna be sprinkled everywhere in this kind of painting. We have three bags of 3371. Three bags of 3781, 3864, 469, we've got two bags, and two bags of 632, and 610 has one bag. We have a bag of 317, and then two bags of 413, 895, 470, 3863, we've got two bags of that. We've got 436, we've got 3787, 842, 924, 640, 414, 3347, 106. So this is another AB diamond. You can see there, it does have a special coating on the top that uh, makes it sparkle a lot more than regular DMC numbers. Uh, again, I will show you where this goes in a bit. And here is our fairy dust. So our fairy dust is a little bit different. It's still a special diamond, but instead of having this kind of very uh, bold, uh, sparkly coating, it has a very subtle glimmer, kind of like eyeshadow or mica powder, and it looks different down on a canvas. I absolutely love them. So I will show you where that goes to. We have 646, 318, 645, and Z728, which is a yellow fairy dust again. See if you can see it shimmering here. You can kind of see the shimmer there. They, they really do look beautiful. Let's see our last strip of diamonds here. So we're gonna see smaller bags. 437, 129 is another AB. It's gonna be a nice pale yellow. We've got 152, 3799, 642, 738, 730, 3042Z, 3865. This is another fairy dust in a white that we will uh, show you in a minute. 3857, 741, 732, 823, 6021. So this is one of the new shades and it looks like it's a shade of light gray or kind of a light, light grayish bluish. 3858, 611, 415, 347, 3856, and 762. Now, I wish I could remember everything in one shot, but I cannot do that. 
So we've got a white fairy dust on here and a yellow AB. So let's look for those first. Now, because this painting is enormous, uh, what I am gonna, enormous, is that even a word? Humongous, because this painting is humongous, what I think I'm going to do is look with my eyes first. So 129, I'm gonna start there. That's number three because I do see it right in frame here. So they've put some around this lamp post and we also do have a couple in the window light here. Now the bag isn't that full. I um, am looking kind of up. I'm not seeing anything else up there. Oh, I am seeing a few in the sky actually, because like I said, I did think it was a sunset. So up in the sky here, we do have some, where's my finger over here, just a few. And then up here a little bit more, just a few. So there's not much, just a little bit. And let me put this up. We do have a bunch in the fire. Let me get the fire situated here. So we have our fire. We've got a bunch of threes in there. So that's going to make it sparkle really nicely. And then we also have some in the reflection in the water. So this is the reflection of the water we're seeing here of that campfire and the glowing of the cabin in the water reflection. So there's a bunch of them in there and that's going to be it. So we're going to see it where the light is a bit of a sprinkling everywhere. The light is the white fairy dust is the little black square and we are going to see it. Did I see it up here? I don't think so. No. There are a couple just in the middle of this lamp post. Otherwise, there are a few in the fire, right? Yeah, there's a few in there. They actually put a sum in this deer on the um, on his neck. He has an area where the light is reflecting likely and it's making it shimmer a little bit more. And if I can move it over, she has a few in her uh, jawline as well. And then coming down here in this element, which I think are rocks, and probably the reflection of the water. These little white areas that you're seeing have that white fairy dust sprinkled in and down through here as well. That's it for those two. So let me pop that strip off to the side. Now, where are our other two fairy dust? So we do have a orange and a green fairy dust left. So I'm gonna show you both of those at the same time. That is a C and an H. I see a lot of C's, but the green H, let me find the H's first and then I'll be able to, ah, uh, yes, yes, yes. Okay, so let's start with the C. So the yellow fairy dust, again, is going to be mixed in the reflection of the water. And over here, we have a bunch of the green fairy dust mixed in the branches. So it's all throughout there and they've actually paired it with one of the AB's. Where's that AB? Here it is. Let me show you the AB, so that green AB there, that's number one. So all throughout these branches, you can see the lighter, lighter spots are a mix of the green AB and the fairy dust color. Up through here, uh, through the fire again, we do have some of the yellow fairy dust. And... Same thing with the glowing in the window and the lamp. We have some of that fairy dust and then we have more of the branches over here and they again have a mix of the fairy dust and the green AB. Now the AB I haven't shared is the second one. Is that in my lap still? Let's see. Um, this AB I forgot to look for. It is 106, which is like a, I'm gonna say like an eggshell color. That's the number twos. Are we seeing that in with the green? Yeah. So we are seeing some of that in here in the very lighter colors of the branches here. Some of it sprinkled in there. There's not much in that bag. I am seeing some again over in kind of this area, just mixed in down here as well. All of these kind of brown areas where the rocks and the sticks are just sprinkled in. And then throughout the deer as well, am I seeing? Let me just, uh, still the rocks in the background. There are some in the face of this deer, just some accents in her ears as well. That's gonna look really cute around his nose and in his ears too, and outlining his antlers, more so on this side, but still on the bottom part of the rack on that side. 
So that's gonna be nice. This painting is really beautiful, you guys. Let me know what you think of this image. Is it one that you are going to put on your shopping list or your wish list? Let me know down below. I think it's gorgeous. I love these deer and I love the, the campfire. It's so nostalgic, really, for me. And it's going to work up fairly nicely. I mean, I am seeing areas everywhere that I can use my multi-placer, which makes me really happy. And even areas where I would say there is more confetti, it's still like a two to four multi-placer type confetti. So for me, that's awesome. I love canvases like that. So this is going to be a joy to work on. I think it's going to work up quickly. Now it does have that perforated cover. I think most people probably, unless you are brand new, have seen it already. It's been around in a lot of the sneak peeks. If I pull it up there, you can kind of see. I wish I had three hands, but I'm not going to be able to do it. But if you can see in the kind of center of the frame there, there is a line there that is perforated. So when you are working on your canvas, you can either elect to just pull this back and work on it the old way, whether that means you put washi tape on the top and you cut your sections out with a knife or ceramic blade, I should recommend. Um, or if you want to try it and use the perforations, what I do to start them is I just tear them with two fingers um, at, the, at the bottom. And then I just very slowly tear up. And for the most part, it does tear in a straight line. It might sway a little bit, but uh, it's not too bad. Uh, in the kit I'm currently working on so far, I've had absolutely zero issues. So that one did pull up quite nicely all the way straight. So that's really nice. This is one of the kits that we'll be releasing on Saturday, March 23rd. Usual times as far as I'm aware at time of filming, which is about a week before this goes out is 9.30 a.m. Pacific, 10.30 a.m. Mountain, 11.30 a.m. Central, and 12.30 p.m. Eastern. If you are part of Diamond R Club's Diamond or Ruby Rewards tier, you do get 30 minutes early access, which means at the top of the hour, all you have to do is sign into your Diamond Art Club account, refresh the browser so the new releases pop up on the hour, and you can purchase as a VIP member. So don't don't wait for those emails anymore. It's really not necessary. Just sign into the website when it is drop time. Don't forget to let me know if you are purchasing, purchasing this or if you have any thoughts, let me know in the comment section down below. If you are new here and you haven't yet subscribed, I would love to have you just hit that subscribe button. It's free. Hit the notification bell to be notified when I do post new videos. That way you don't miss anything. And until next time, happy diamond painting, you guys. Bye.